Over the last year or so, one of the watches that has been on my wrist the most frequently has been the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. It has been a really, really solid watch for me, both in terms of performance and also in longevity, which I think is probably the most important thing about a smartwatch for me. Getting two or three days of battery life on a charge has been really, really important. Now, there's one thing that we've been wondering about for a long time about these watches. They've been using the Exynos W920 for quite a while now. We've been wondering, are they finally going to change this with the Galaxy Watch 6? Are they finally going to use a newer processor for these smartwatches? Not only do we have some information about that this morning, we also have information about another feature that went away with the Galaxy Watch 5 that appears to be making a comeback. So here I have a snippet from an article on Sam Mobile, which I will link in the description down below. It reads, We have learned that the Galaxy Watch 6 will have a newer Exynos processor, the Exynos W980. This new chipset will be more than 10% faster than the W920. Now, at that first bit of information, I'm not all of that excited because I don't think that the Galaxy Watch 5 or 5 Pro was really struggling in terms of the speed department. It's been fast doing everything I want it to do, opening whatever programs you want to open. It does very, very quickly. But there's more to the story that I think is more important. The W980 Samsung may also be fabricating it using its newer 5 nanometer process. So there's been some reports that Samsung has improved in some rather large way their processes for making these sorts of 5 nanometer processors. And this may lead to, as they say here, better longevity, improved battery life. So yes, more than 10% faster. But those potential gains in efficiency, as we have seen in devices like the S23 Ultra with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, are often the most important gains that you can make. And with a smartwatch, going from two to three days to maybe three to four days is a really, really big deal. Now, you can also see below this that the Galaxy Watch 6 is also going to have larger and higher resolution screens. So this may offset that efficiency gain, right? So it's going to be interesting to see bigger, higher res screens, more efficient system on a chip. Do they wind up just kind of being a wash? And maybe that's okay. Maybe that's a good trade-off for you. But another piece here that I mentioned, a feature that's coming back that had gone away, the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Remember, there was no Galaxy Watch 5 Classic. There was just the 5 and then the 5 Pro. Now we're going to have a 6 Classic again, and it will bring back the iconic rotating bezel like they said, Samsung's watches were kind of famous where they were known for having that bezel you could twist to navigate through. They took that away. They tried to replace it with some software. People did not really like that very much. So Samsung, hearing the crowd, are bringing that back. I also want to remind you of something that I talked about all the way back in January, that Mobvoi is set to launch the TicWatch 5 very, very soon. We actually have this image here, a teaser, that is going to most likely be the Mobvoi Tick Watch 5. And look, this is important to me because the other watch I wear is the Mobvoi Tick Watch Pro 3 Ultra. They're skipping number four. Five is what is coming next. Why do I like the Mobvoi watch so much? Well, it gets even better battery life than the Galaxy Watch and the dual layer display is really, really cool to have as well. Sometimes you have the LCD screen shown, but sometimes it's just a second screen that requires no real backlight, and it actually can use the light from the world around. The brighter the surroundings are, the better you can see that screen, and it's just a really, really cool feature to have. This watch is said to be one of the first ones using the brand new Snapdragon W5 Plus chipset. So how will that compare to the W980, it's going to be very, very interesting to see. It's been said that this new chip is supposed to be 50% better in efficiency and double the performance of the 4100 Plus. So this Mobboy watch is not going to be taking any prisoners. Personally, I'm just super excited because like two of my all-time favorite smartwatches are both about to get fairly significant upgrades at the exact same time or right around the exact same time. Mob Boy's coming with a new processor and a slightly new design. The Samsung watch is getting the rotating bezel back. It's getting a new system on a chip for the first time in a long time. They're both going to be running now, finally, the newest versions of Wear OS. Very exciting times 
for Android smartwatches for Wear OS, whatever it is you would like to call it. Hit that subscribe button for more coverage just like this. I will likely have reviews for both of these watches coming as soon as they are available. Guys, I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.